What's going on you guys? It's Brandon again coming back to you with another great video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Google Home Hub. This has a new name. It is now called the Google Nest Hub. According to our last speaker right there. But yeah, so we got the Google Home Mini for free via Google Account and Spotify. If you haven't seen it, watch my other video. And I got this for free as well, kind of for free. So with my phone, I got this as like a promotional deal. Google is giving this out uh, extra. So anyway, through a bunch of uh, hassling with Verizon and everything, they ended up just sending me money, credit money to my account, how much the Google Home costed. Uh, so they credit me like the one twenty nine ninety nine, but I actually got it for a cheaper. I got a discount on it, so they ended up actually like paying me money to get the Google Home, which is pretty awesome. So we finally got it in the mail, and like I said, we had the Google Google Home Mini, which if you've seen my other video, we really didn't have much practical uses for it yet use it to play music a lot now so like our bluetooth speaker i don't really use as much because that one's just voice activated so i can just wake up and say hey you know put some morning jams on some more motivation and then it just plays it so it's pretty nice uh use it for that use it to show the tv off but still waiting to get some uh like some smart bulbs or something to install in the in the house so like getting the lights and stuff so as of right now, it's not super useful for us, but our goal is to make our home more smart and see what happens. So here's the Google, Google Home Hub. This is supposed to be the all-in-one, not like the Google Home Mini. It's supposed to be, I think, like the Google Home Mini, but with a screen. Uh, you got your calendar, you got your Google Maps on there. Uh, I can show you the front door camera, which is pretty sweet. YouTube, Spotify. Uh, so you can say, show me photos in Hawaii, and I can bring them to your photos, which is pretty neat. I think where I'm going to put it is in the kitchen. That way it's just easy. You go to grab something out of the fridge, and you're like, oh, dang, we need you know some more milk or eggs or whatever. You just turn around, say, hey, put add eggs to the shopping list or whatever, and then boom, and automatically put it on there. So for me, I feel like that's gonna be the best place to have it, as of right now anyway. But this is it. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's a seven inch display. So it's a little bit bigger than in the hand there. About, about just barely fits in the hand. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Take this film off here. It's got that little coral bottom to it. It's pretty, pretty sweet. You, got, you can turn the mic off. I can turn the mic on all the whole time. And this, I believe, also has to be plugged in all the time, which is okay because we got a plug in right in the kitchen that will fit. Comes with the same charging cable as the Google Home Mini does, which is kind of annoying if you try to plug it in on a uh, like a power strip because it takes up two of them. That is it. Besides this little instructional book, which again, if you've seen my last video, it's probably the same thing. Let's get started and be safe. Plug it in, get the app, and that's it, you start it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and see what we can do. All right, so you're gonna take it and flip around back. Go ahead and put the four in it. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. 
so you go to the Google Home app and then you add new devices, it'll be up here. You click uh, Nest Hub, connecting. Boom, there you go. Looks good to go. I agree. Sure. And this is gonna go into the kitchen. I'm gonna cover van one. All right. See the Wi-Fi keeps switching on the left. Alright, well there you go. Link music, you can link all your music. I already got Spotify and Pandora on here. Get started with calls. Use your existing Google Duo account for high quality voice calls. Sure, I get to know your device. Welcome to your Google Nest Hub, the ultimate digital photo frame that does so much more. Check it out. With the Google Photos app on your Android or iOS device, you can bring your favorite memories from your phone to your home. Just select the people and pets you want to see, and Google Photos AI will filter out blurry and low-res photos. With live albums, the best and latest shots you've taken on your phone will automatically appear on your hub, no manual updates required. Nest Hub's ambient EQ allows the screen to adjust on its own to match the color and lighting of the room, so photos blend in with your home. These photos are grouped by people and places, which means you can see related photos together or even search by voice. Hey Google, show my photos of Hawaii. Thanks to your Google Assistant, Nest Hub provides you with help at a glance. Just tap to see your home screen for your commute, calendar, recommended videos on YouTube, music, and more. Hey Google, play Dua Lipa. Swipe down for home view, where you can do things like see the status of your home, control devices in each room, turn off the lights, adjust the thermostat, and view cameras. And swipe up to adjust settings, volume, and ambient EQ. Remember, if you ever want to learn more about your Google Assistant, just say, hey Google, what can you do? Ready to give Nest Hub a try? Swipe from the left edge of the screen to exit and get started. Well, there you have it. Did my job for me. That's everything you can do. Now that you're set up, I'd like to show you a few more things you can do with your Nest Hub. All First, right. swipe down from the top of the screen. This is where you can find and control devices in your smart home. Any smart home devices you add to the Google Home app will show up here. You can come back later to explore. Now swipe up to close your home view. Next, I'll show you where to find settings. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This is where you can find some of the controls for your hub. Like screen brightness, volume and a few other things. To hide these controls, tap anywhere on the screen. Now that we've talked about swiping, let's look at some things you can see on your screen. To check out your day, tap anywhere on the screen. Throughout the day, I'll have new things here for you. Anything from what's on your calendar, to top hits on YouTube. To see more of what I have for you, scroll right. Try dragging your finger to the left across the screen. Great job! That's all I have for now, so I'll let you have some fun and explore on your own. Just as a final tip, if you want to learn more, you can always ask me, what can you do? Bye for now. Yeah, so I mean, there you go. There you have it. I mean, and another reason why I want to put this in the kitchen, so you can just set an alarm. Like I said, you can make the list. It'll just be easier. And then I believe that these lists will transfer to my phone. So when I go to the store, boom, everything we need is right there. You'll never forget anything. So the Google Home Hub or Google Home Nest Hub, it's a pretty sweet product. Um, overall, it's pretty nice. It's just like the Google Home Mini, except this has a seven inch touchscreen on it. And it's pretty sweet because you can bring up your cameras and stuff on there because we got outdoor security cameras. So it'd be nice just to be able to bring it up, you know, see if 
anything's lurking around the house or you hear noise, whatever, boom, bolt the camera, you're good to go. Um, like I said, we want to get the smart lights soon so we can just dim the different lights in the house. It'll be good in the kitchen to make the list and everything. And it's just a cool thing. And it just goes through like a slideshow for you of all your recent memories, which would be nice. You just walk by of a picture frame. It's just, it's just cool. Like, look at this, look at this little girl here. And we got Marley, just a pup, just a pup. So it gets to bring back, you know, great memories as you're walking by in the kitchen, going to grab some food. It's like, ah, oh, my heart, it broke, you know? So pretty sweet, definitely pretty cool. Uh, once we get some more smart technology in our home, then the Google Home Mini and then this Google Nest will be uh, of a lot more use. So I'm definitely looking forward to the future and what all we can do and add to the home. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys stay tuned because I got plenty more videos on the way. So please, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and like it, share, subscribe, comment, do any or all of it. I appreciate it. And you guys have a great day.